So, we're going to be painting something a bit different than normal. G'day guys, welcome back to Layla Central. My name is Clint, your average modeler, and in this video, we're going to be painting something very different than uh, previously done. Now, what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be painting this board right here, which is my back scene that I've actually got up. Now, the back scene itself starts from the footy yard right here, as you can see with my bridge, so it's all completely hidden. Goes across here, all the way down to the wall, and you can see that blue tape that I've got there, some painter's tape. That's essentially marking the height, just roughly uh, across over the other areas of the walls when I get around to them later on, just to continue the height of this back scene. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it can actually be done. So in here, I'm gonna go through my list of products and just show that you two at home, give it a crack, see how you go. Um, I've never painted a back scene before. I've seen plenty of videos, I've painted various bits and pieces before, but I haven't painted anything on this sort of scale before. So I'm gonna share it with you, show you how I'm going to do it. And like I mentioned, this is my first time, so if I bugger it up, you're gonna see it firsthand. Um, but if it turns out well, hopefully it inspires you to give it a go yourself. So looking over what we're actually going to be doing, of course, we're going to need some paint. So this is just some regular flat white paint. These are acrylics. I'm not using enamels or oil, so some, a pot of white paint here. Here I've essentially got a blue uh, paint. Um, Again, an acrylic as well, a light sort of blue. I've just picked out what I felt looked uh, the best. Now, these are little some uh, test pots that I've actually purchased uh, here. Instead of getting like big one litre or two litre drums, which I don't think I'll need, this is all I wanted for the moment just to do this area. Um, so we've got those. Another thing we've got is our paint stirrer. Very handy, useful thing. This is just plugged into my drill, as you can see here. So nice and easy to mix it up. Now to apply my paint and get rid of any brush strokes, I'm using a roller kit. Um, now this, this is a very handy little kit. This comes with a painter's tray, two rollers, and of course the roller handle itself. And you can buy many different sorts of rollers for these. Uh, so this I think will uh, serve me very well on the actual layout. And the other thing that we've also got that I'll be applying is just some simple undercoat. Now, this is just some white primer or undercoat, um, and it is an acrylic as well. Now, this was dirt cheap. This is not not a uh, big brand or anything like that. This four litres cost me about $20 Australian. Um, very cheap, and you know what? This should do the whole layout on where I'm actually going to be doing uh, any um, back scene painting. Um, so this will get used very well. I've used it before. I used it to essentially paint my shed uh, in here as the undercoat, etc., and um, it's done very well in that regards. Now, the other thing that we've got is a little secret weapon of mine. Now, the secret weapon is this. Now, you might look at this and go, this is odd. This is what you call a dish sponge. Just a simple washing up sponge that you can buy at $2 shops. Um, I got this at a hardware shop and I think I got a pack of three of these uh, for around $4 Australian. So again, very cheap. Uh, these will do, do quite well. And these I'm going to use to apply my paints to the back scene itself. The roller I'll be using the, uh, the primer, um, but when it comes to doing the painting and everything else, particularly the blue and mixing the white, etc., this is what I'll actually be using. Now with the back scene itself, it is just some very uh, premium smooth uh, uh, ply um, that I've actually used here. Now I think uh, by memory that's about 9 mil, uh, nine millimeters in thickness. Well, as you can see with my screws and everything, I've uh, counter sunk them where I possibly can. Um, obviously bogged them up with a bit of filler as well. I've given it a good sand. Now you can see I've still got a lot of sand and dust uh, around here. So before I even get painted, I need to give that a clean up uh, with the brush. Once that's done, then I will mix up my primer and apply it to these boards right across here. And then once that's dry, we'll then start applying some color to this area and liven it up a little bit more.
Okay, so the uh, the blue, the undercoat, and now the blue's put on here. As you can see, it's a nice, rich sort of blue. It's not like a very light uh, baby blue. Um, just a nice one that I can tone down and adjust uh, to what I actually need, so that way I can keep this richness right at the top, but also have it a bit more faded, add my clouds in and everything. Now, you've noticed also I've got this bit of polystyrene uh, sitting right here that I've been using for sculpting, and this I'm using as a bit of a height gauge. As you can see uh, down around the bottoms here, I haven't actually you know, done it, completely finished it neat, and frankly, why would you when you're going to have scenery like this in front of it? So, and in that, Obviously, I'm going to put like a bit of a, nothing huge in the way of rolling hills and things like that. Just enough to try and blend <clears throat> my country area here into the actual um, back scene without having the back scene take over. And, you know, I want it to blend in, but I don't want this to take attention off the actual layout itself. I want it to complement the layout, not have the layout you know, complement this, if that makes sense. So using this, for example, I'm using this as a gauge, that way I can engage where my rolling hills will eventually be, but also where I can put my clouds, because there's no point putting them down low if it's, this is gonna be covered up by it. So now what I've got here is a small container with some water. I've got a piece of cardboard here, just sitting over the tracks. Obviously my paint dispenser thing right here, and my trusty, I've lost it. Ah, oh, here it is. There we are. And the trusty sponge right here. So what the process is, I'm gonna fill this container up with water um, just so I can make this cloth um, damp. I don't want it to be dripping, soaking wet. With that, so once I've dampened this cloth, I'm going to put a small amount of my white paint onto it. Um, not heaps, just enough on there, and then I'm going to wipe along the bottom here to use the, the water and the diluted white paint in some areas to get some natural um, feeling going on essentially with the actual back scene. So down below, we're gonna have you know, a bit of haze, if that makes sense, have a wispy in some regards, and then add some clouds up above here. Um, so now, like I mentioned, this is my first time doing it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is probably a basic thing just to explain what I'm actually doing. It's not really a tutorial to per se, um, but depending on how this actually turns out and if it's quite a great success and you know you guys um, uh, receive it quite well and want to see more on how I actually do it, then I'll do a much more thorough in-depth video on this. So in the meantime, time to shake my white paint and I'll um, get cracking.
Okay, so there we go. So there's the first bit done. So as I mentioned, you know, all I've done is a bit of a, just try and set the tone a little bit with some wispy clouds in the distance, you know, all this here. So it's looking pretty good so far. I'm happy with that at the moment. Now uh, we'll get into making some clouds. Now to actually do that, what I'm going to be doing is still using my sponge. Now what I was doing beforehand when doing this wispiness, I was applying a small amount of paint. So I was bending it over like this applying a small amount of paint here and then dragging it along and then using this cleaner area to wipe and dilute and blend it out a little bit if you want to call it that. Um, it is messy as you can see here because I keep putting my hands in where the paint is. Um, now to do the actual clouds themselves, I'm still just going to use plain white, nothing else, uh, nothing special. And all I'm going to do here is curl my sponge over and use this rounded bit right here. So we'll see how we go at uh, getting these. So I'll dip it into my paint put it around here, create the fluffiness, and we'll see how it goes. Now, for areas down here, um, near, you know, in the distance, also the clouds are going to be smaller, they're going to be closer together. As we get higher and closer to us, the clouds are going to get bigger, they're going to be more distance apart between them as well. So, But anyway, stay tuned and we'll see how this uh, develops.
that was really annoying. My uh, original video camera that I was using to record the footage on this decided to die on me and ran out of battery. So that was my fault for not uh, checking on uh, its power status. Um, so I've had to quickly switch back over to my old uh, faithful, the phone, um, just to finish recording this bit. Okay, there we go. So that's me. Uh, that's my clouds painted and um, basically the back scene. Uh, for the clouds are done. Now as you notice, um, obviously I started way over here, all the clouds are very close together but as I've gotten uh, a bit more practice to it and as we went a bit more further along I started to space them out a little bit more so I'm a bit more happy with these areas here than I am down there. To me that looks absolutely ridiculous but <laughs> it's uh, it's not too bad. I can uh, easily go over this area, over these areas here with some blue paint and uh, redo them if I want to. Uh, which I reckon I might at some stage, but we'll wait and see anyway. Um, but uh, for a first time uh, painting some clouds, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and considering it's just using white and blue paint and a sponge and some water, um, you know, it's uh, it's come up actually not too bad, really. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. So so there we go, guys. That's uh, <laughs> a first time painting a uh, clouds and uh, a bit of a back scene. Never done it before, but um, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I think um, as time goes on and practice, uh, this will become even better. Um, so I guess, uh, and as we can see, like I mentioned, way over there versus over to here, it's gotten even uh, even better. But um, So there we go. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed and uh, and maybe even learned something from it. I certainly have. And uh, stay tuned. And if, uh, and if you're interested in seeing what I'm actually getting up to with my lad, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, obviously, you know, I do read all your comments and feedback, so feel free to comment down below. Take care, and we will talk soon. Bye for now, guys.